Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you add transitions between video clips in DaVinci Resolve 17. And also I want to show all of you one problem that you may run into every now and then when you're adding the transitions and it just doesn't give you a feedback message. So I want to show you what's going on there if you have trouble adding your transition to your video clips. So on the cut page, if you want to find a transition, you go up here to the top left, you click on transitions, and then here you're going to have the full list of transitions which you can drag and drop onto your video clips. On the edit page, then you're going to find these in the effects library, also in the top left. And then you have to come down here to video transitions, and you'll see basically the same set of transitions which you can drag onto your video clips. So not a lot of difference there. Now let's try adding a video transition between these two clips and see why it doesn't work. So I'll scroll down here to an example. Let's look at Tunnel of Light. So if you hover over Transitions in Resolve 17, you can see preview of the effect, and it's going to use the clips that are closest to the timeline cursor. So right over here, you can see these two video clips. So it's going to use that for the preview transition. And let's left-click, hold, and drag this onto the border between our clips. And you may see nothing pops up here. So what's going on is that our video clips in the timeline are already close to or at the edge of our source video files. So if I left click on the border here between the two clips, we can see down here that we get a red glow to the left and a red glow to the right. So when the red line is on the right, that means that the left edge or the beginning of the clip on the right is already at the start of the source video footage. And that's the problem when you're adding transitions because transitions are going to need about half a second or a second usually of video buffer from the source file that is not being used directly in your video clip in order to complete the transition. So in other words, if you see this red line, then you're not going to be able to add a transition because you need to pull away or trim a little bit of the video from the timeline so that the transition can use it instead of having it directly on the timeline. So if I hit T to go into trim edit mode or down here on the timeline, I can left click on the edge of a video clip and then drag it to the right if I'm trimming the left side or drag it to the left if we're trimming the right side and pull this in as much as we need it to be. So we could say one second is uh, 30 frames per second in this video project. That would be usually sufficient. So I'll let go there. And you'll see that as long as we're not at the edge of the source, that this line is going to show green. Now we need to change this side as well. So technically speaking, with only one side trimmed, we could add a transition. So I'll go up here to a blur dissolve, and we'll see that we can have this show up on the left side. So this area where the transition is popping up, that's actually using the video footage that we just trimmed. So it's not really part of this clip on the right anymore, but it ends up being used as the left clip transitions outward. Now, usually if you have both sides trimmed a little bit, then you'd be able to hover it over the middle or the right side if you want the transition to occur at the start of the right side clip. But because we only have one side trimmed, that's why we can only position it here right now. So if we want to make it so that we can put the transition on the middle, and kind of use both sides a little bit for the transition or position it on the right so that we can uh, have the transition occur here, but using footage from this clip source, uh, then we just need to trim on this left side. So make sure you're in trim mode, T, or clicking over here, left click on the edge and drag it in. About a second is usually sufficient. You could probably get away with half a second, or in this case, 15 frames here since the transitions, I believe, when you drag them on are just one second. More is always better. You might need to expand the duration of the transition, but you can left click on it and see the settings of that transition up here. So one second by default. And now that the transition is properly here, when we drag and drop it in, you can left click on it if you haven't done so already. And you'll see in the inspector transition tab, uh, the settings that will affect this transition. So you can just kind of adjust these and you should see the preview update might have to be more towards the center here to actually see the difference. But, but if we increase the red glow, you can see how that makes a difference, the green and the blues, or we could lower the contrast down if we want each side of the glow to look more similar to each other instead of further apart, which is the default. 
On the cut page, you can access similar things. So you can see the transitions still show up here on the timeline, and you can still open up the inspector to view those settings here. Once again, on the transition tab of the inspector. Now, most of the time you won't really run into this issue because generally after you've made your cuts on your video on the timeline, you're not going to be using the entire source clip. Usually you would trim away at that with the blade edit mode tool, making cuts and only keeping the parts of your video that you want. So usually when you just make your cuts like this, you're just going to have green on both sides. But if you ever run into the issue where you can't add a transition, like just dragging and dropping doesn't work for some reason, then there's a good chance that it's that issue where your source footage needs to be trimmed on either one or both sides a little bit so that the transition can fit in. So that's pretty much going to be it for this basic tutorial of DaVinci Resolve 17. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching. I've been Chris, and I will see you all in my future video content.